the name of Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello everyone. I'm Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again. Today, uh, we have a uh, Luke uh, Gospel. Uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 38 to 44. Today's Holy Gospel tells us about three important things. One is, uh, we know very well, uh, Simon's mother-in-law were healed by Jesus. And second thing, uh, Jesus healed many people, especially those who suffering or those who had uh, you know, the, uh, disease or sicknesses. And last thing, he stressed, stressed about the mission and evangelism. How important today this uh, subject which we know very well. So, first things, Simon's uh, mother-in-law uh, had a uh, high fever. In the uh, scripture said, uh, Simon's mother-in-law was uh, afflicted with a se severe fever and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. It is so in interesting, isn't it? Why Jesus didn't say, be healed, but Jesus rebuked the fever. It seems like a fever, something or someone, obviously. Uh, some uh, sickness or disease came from uh, Satan. Sometimes, you know, the evil spirit could uh, involve or influence uh, about this, uh, you know, the evil things, unfortunately. But not all, obviously. And, and also, it's very important and beautiful, Simon's mother-in-law, she got up immediately means she was uh, healed immediately and then she served, waited up, I mean served them. So how important our life is not just to live for our life, our you know, the personal you know, life, but also we need to share and serve one another. And second part of uh, today's Holy Gospel, uh, other healings. So Jesus said, uh, He laid His hands on each of them and cured them. Wow, this is so beautiful, isn't it? Jesus, Jesus, uh, His hand laid His hands on each of them because God loves each of us, everybody, one by one, and cured them. Wow, this is so nice, isn't it? So in the name of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Or we were healed. We will be healed. And demons also came out from many. What does it mean? Demons are probably in uh, many people's, their mind or their heart. So obviously they need absolutely Jesus' name the power of the Holy Spirit, shouting, you are the Son of God. Even the demons, they know who is Jesus Christ. Definitely, they said, you are, so Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And last things, as I said, the importance of the mission and evangelism. Jesus said, to the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Why? Because for this purpose I have been sent. So, why Jesus came here? Not just the, to cure or heal the just people. Of course, include this one too. But he said, I have been sent for this region, what? To proclaim the good news 
aber the kingdom of God. So now, this is our terms. If we are uh, Jesus' disciples and also children of God, why not? We have to proclaim too the good news. The good news is, uh, we know very well, Jesus Christ. So in the name of Jesus Christ, we go out. We believe first, obviously. We follow Jesus Christ. And also, we proclaim to those who don't know yet who is Jesus Christ. And also, those who know who is Jesus Christ, but they don't believe definitely 100% in Jesus Christ as a, the Son of God, as the Messiah. So you and I, now, our turn to proclaim the good news, Jesus Christ, the kingdom of heaven. For this reason, we are here to listen the word of God. With this blessing, why not? We have a beautiful and holy and powerful day and time. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.